Hey you guys, Karen out here. I'm back with another video. Yesterday, I say I'm back with another video. As you guys can tell by today's title, y'all are going to be making a full breakfast with me. A full breakfast. But before we get into it, I need y'all to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, turn the post notification bell on. That way you don't miss a video, don't miss a beat, don't miss a video, don't miss a beat, don't miss a video, don't miss a beat. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get ready to the shop. My merch, it will be down below. Chosen, never basic. So all the details for this will be down below. You can buy this exact hoodie on Teespring. It just says chosen ever basic, period. And I think I have it in pink and white or pink and black. I'm not sure, like y'all, I've been made this merch, but it's just no release. I wanted to make sure I got mine first, but Teespring, you order it, they will print it and they will send it straight to your house. Um, you have to pay for shipping if I get a good amount of orders next time there will definitely be more merch and a promo code Sound like playa smash that like smash that subscribe. We are about to cook a full breakfast. Let me get y'all propped up I got y'all propped up. I need to go get everything that I need. I'll be right back. We are going to be making hash browns. Jimmy Dean um, pork sausage. Some French toast sticks. Some eggs. And I got some cranberry juice. So. Yeah, that part. I don't know if that feels like a breakfast to y'all, but that's what I want to eat for breakfast. So that's what we're going to eat for breakfast. Okay. So let's preheat the oven to 400. And it says that they need to bake for four minutes. Okay. So, okay. So these take less time than the last ones I had. The last ones I had, you had to cook them for like eight to 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making the sausage first, the sausage and the hash browns and then the eggs and then the french i'll have the french toast going while i'm making the i don't know i just want everything to be warm i'll figure it out y'all just clean my bowl i got a bowl i'm gonna put the hash browns in the bowl i got my cage free eggs i'm gonna start whipping up the eggs the sausage is going and the um, thing is prepped for the um, French toast. So, just crack my first egg. I'm gonna do two eggs. Well, I guess I gotta do three because I got three eggs left and I don't eat eggs like that, so I might as well make it. So, we're gonna have three eggs, three sausage, three French toast, and probably I'm probably just going to make one hash brown because that's going to be a lot of food just for me. So, we got our three eggs. Let's turn this down. All right. The first thing I'm going to add is some pepper. Black pepper. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Hold on. Garlic powder. Next, I need a little cayenne. Some paprika for color. Once you know how to season, you really don't have to measure. And then a little season off, just a little. Just a little. Razzle dazzle. So, 
that's what I got in my eggs. I'm about to get a fork so I can whip them up, whip them up. And then of course I have some butter. I usually put butter in the pan and then make my eggs like that. Got my fork. I want y'all to be able to see me, but the way this is set up is like, might need a little bit more seasonal so that was the sound of the oven is preheated for the stuff for the uh, french toast so we got our eggs i'm gonna go ahead and set this in the refrigerator because i usually make my eggs last because eggs eggs be done in like three minutes eggs be done so fast this is how season my eggs look. This is how I season my eggs. And yeah, that's what I do. Got my aluminum foil because I don't have a pan for the French stuff. So all I need is about that much. Don't need that much at all. I'll open this French toast. I never had this brand. The last brand I had was that Farm Rich brand. Hopefully, this is giving because I've been in a French toast mood. I mean, this is a way bigger box, but I don't know what they gonna taste like. But these, this is the kind of French toast that I've been liking lately, like a lot. And I'm not even a French toast type of person. That's the funny part. I'm going to make five in case they're really, really good. But this is going to be a big breakfast. I got five French toast sticks, three sausage, eggs, and I'm probably going to make one hash brown. Yeah, this is a lot, a lot of food, but a big breakfast to start off my day. I'm normally not a breakfast person, but I want breakfast today. So I'm putting the French toast in the oven. In there on 400 degrees, four minutes on each side. I'm gonna show y'all what these sausage looking like because they look at good. The sausage look like they are almost done. And the French toast got like three more minutes. Right, I just added four minutes to the um, French toast because they're not as crispy as I would like. Right now, I'm opening these um, patties, it's shredded seasoned potato hash browns. They kind of look like the ones you get from McDonald's. I'm going to just make two because it feels stupid to make one. I'm going to make two. I feel like I should spray the pan. I'm going to spray the pan with this cooking spray just to make sure. All right. And I'm going to take you know, one hash brown. Then I'm going to put another one. And I'll put that on like medium heat. And I'm going to wrap this back up. But this is what they look like. I'll let y'all know if they're good or the hash browns look right look like right now nothing major look a little weird but they're gonna look good in a minute give them, give them one minute take this french toast out the oven sausage on here and then the french toast
how seasoned those eggs look. 